Welcome to the first episode of this fifth season of the Yavna News. I am Alana Bass, reporting to you from the Yavna studio in sunny LA. The date is September 10th, 2015. For those that don't already know, the Yavna News is a three-minute broadcast sharing the events and happenings around Yeshiva Yavna. This is a volunteer student-run program done in our own time designed to keep you, our viewers, informed on what's happening at Yavna. Now, on to the news. Reports from the administration is that enrollment at Yavna has never been higher. This year, Yavna has welcomed 31 new families and according to Mr. Starr, we have just under 500 students. We welcome all the new students and parents to the Yavna family. With Rosh Hashanah around the corner, Yavna was honored to host Rabbi Yisachar Fran for the weekend. For more on this, we go to Talia Rubin. That's right, Alana. This past Friday, Rabbi Fran spoke to our middle school boys and girls about the importance of friendship. He gave talks over Shabbat and then the grand finale was his annual priestly code address. Over 700 people attended the Mutzi Shabbat event in the Nagel Gymnasium, Terrace Jesha. His message focused on Teshuvah, the power of tefillah and proper decorum during Davni. Of course he delivered it as only Rabbi Frank can with fascinating stories, historical context, and examples from current events. It's always a treat when Rabbi Fran visits, and this year was no different. For Yavna News, I'm Talia Rubin. Back to you, Alana. In other news, for the last several years, Yavna has been host to two Bonami girls from Israel. This year is no different. For more, we go to Jessica Marshak. The Bonami Project sends a group of 18 to 20 year old Orthodox women from Israel to communities around the world to teach kids about Israel, celebrate the Jewish holidays, and give them that extra something that only a true Sabra can. This year, we are home to Pnina Chen Suisa and Lital Zingarevich. I'm Pnina Chen. And I'm Lital. We have a great year of activities planned. And we're going to give the children of Yavne a true Israeli experience. We are looking forward to a great year with Pnina Chen and Lital. I am Jessica Marshak for Yavne News. Back to you in the studio. That's it for this episode. We hope you enjoyed it. If you have a story you want covered or to sponsor an episode, email us at yavnenews at yfj.org. I'm Lana Bass, and for everyone here at Yavna News, we wish you a Kativa Bechatima Tova. See you next year. In the Nagel Gymnasium. Na oh! I was like, Nagel, that's it, yes. I was like, at the last moment, I was like, Nagel. Nagel! September 10th, 2015. <laughs> Grand fit. Uh, we have a great year for doing this. Let's try one more time. <laughs> oh, oh, sorry, I forgot. Because <laughs> I'm happy to go along. This fifth season of the Yavna News. I am Alana Best, reporting to you from the Yavna Studio in Sunny LA. The date is September 10th.